Bien Vanu, a Vox Terra. Today, I want to share with you primarily a really important court case that should be getting more attention from the media than it is, and I'm going to contrast it with another important court case that should have gotten a lot of attention from the media. So according to Reuters and Courthouse News, 14 states, 14 red states as Courthouse News calls them, are suing the Biden administration over Joe Biden administration's pause on new oil and gas leases, on new oil and gas auctions of leases, on federal lands and waters, pending environmental and climate review. So these lawsuits led by Republican attorney generals, according to Reuters, allege that Biden is violating the Mineral Leasings Act, which requires these auctions to happen on a quarterly basis. Well, the White House press secretary claims that the Trump administration, quote, flooded the oil markets with cheap federal leases. This will not affect oil and gas markets for years to come. So there the press secretary is explaining, hey, this isn't really going to have an economic and immediate economic impact for years down the road because there's so many of these cheap leases floating around out there. This just pauses new ones. Now, the Department of Interior press release states that the oil and gas industry has stockpiled millions of acres of leases on public lands and waters. The continental U.S. loses a football field size of land every 30 seconds. Well, that's a lot of land being lost to oil and gas exploration. Now, that Courthouse News article cited an attorney from Earth Justice, an environmental organization that sues on behalf of the environment, as well as the Center for Biological Diversity, one of their senior campaigners, supporting this Biden pause, claiming that during the Trump era, these auctions were occurring at, quote, fire sale prices, meaning that Trump was just giving them away to the oil and gas industry. And the Trump administration largely dispensed with good, solid environmental review and climate impact altogether. I'm going to quote for you from Michael Gaffer, attorney for Earth Justice. Pointing to a May 4th, 2020 federal ruling from the U.S. District Judge, Brian Morris, for the District of Montana, that vacated 287 gas leases over the Trump era's Bureau of Land Management's failure to assess groundwater and climate impacts. But notice, pause here, pause here, and notice, it's not just climate impacts, it's also groundwater. Remember, this same industry that we are overusing their, their product is not only heating our planet, which they've been, done a great job of denying, but it's also contaminating our water with carcinogens and other toxins. Well, while Joe Biden's getting sued by proxies for the oil and gas industry, in the form of red state attorney generals, Donald Trump was getting sued by environmental organizations. Let me tell you one case that should have been super famous. League of Conservation Voters versus Donald Trump and, guess who it's versus, League of Conservation Voters. you got to know who the, who the plaintiffs are. League of Conservation Voters, some other big environmental organizations like Sierra Club, Greenpeace. Another plaintiff suing Trump was the, get this, Resisting environmental destruction on indigenous lands. I just want to pause and point out that it's, it's indigenous lands. It's Native American organizations also suing, were suing the Trump administration. That got really underreported. And versus, so in this lawsuit, League of Conservation Voters and these other environmental organizations versus Trump, but guess who else was defendant? Those are the plaintiffs. Guess who else was defendant in that case? The American Petroleum Institute. So you got environmentalists versus Trump and the American Petroleum Institute. Now you got Biden saying, from, with the environmentalists saying, hey, you're, you're, we appreciate you're doing this, getting sued by oil and gas industry proxies. And I'm calling them proxies because the Republican Party right now is really flooded, especially at the national level, with oil and gas industry money. Now what that lawsuit was about, that particular lawsuit that Trump was getting sued on was about, was Trump's opening up of the Arctic for oil and gas exploration, previously protected areas. According to the National Resource Defense Council, the Obama administration had set aside some 128 million acres, almost, in the Arctic, Arctic and Atlantic 
to be protected from oil and gas drilling. And then Trump was opening them up again. Now, two, regarding real politics, point two, I want to bring up Bernie Sanders. Look, we shouldn't forget him, in my opinion. I know some people are like, forget about Bernie. No, here's why. Bernie had a much stronger stance. According to the Washington Post, Bernie co-sponsored a bill called the Keep It in the Ground Act. And uh, Senator Jeff Merkley was the sponsor of that Keep It in the Ground Act, meaning we got to keep fossil fuels in the ground. There's way too much carbon in the atmosphere already and in the oceans, etc. But second reason we got to remember Bernie is because of the way he talked about the environment. He wouldn't just say, hey, this is the right thing to do, because doing it that way, you're going to leave yourself open to the denial industry, which has its tentacles all throughout much of the media, especially media like Fox. You need to really highlight the power of this industry when you discuss the environment. And Bernie does that. So regarding the media, if you look at media coverage of this Biden pause, a mere pause on drilling, or new options rather, a lot of the media is going to highlight it as a ban. Biden's ban new oil and gas leases and frame it as something bad, especially if it's on Fox. Now Fox, as I pointed out to you in my Australian wildfire video, is owned or was started by Rupert Murdoch. And Rupert Murdoch is notorious among environmental circles for his media outlets repeating what we call denial industry claims. And lastly, lastly for today, the environment. And what I call the red state irony. The red state irony. Here's what I mean by that. Look, a couple of these states suing are Louisiana, Texas, Mississippi. Now, if you watch my video about Texas disaster, polar vortex, or my other video, more floods, less water, where I talked about Tennessee and Mississippi water shortages, you may well already understand how this heating planet is heating the Arctic more than the rest of the planet, and that's messing with these air and ocean currents. That allowed the polar vortex to slump down into these southern regions, bringing a cold Arctic blast down there, shutting down their water supply, which they're unprepared for, again, because they're not taking climate seriously. So that's irony one, but irony two is, remember, what I point out earlier in the video about the water contamination and the other contaminants from the excessive use of fossil fuels. In fact, the, ex the, the over-contamination from the entire excessiveness of our consumer culture, all this disposable plastic, etc. Well, there's a place in Louisiana called Cancer Alley, and it's called that because of the, all the oil and gas or, or petrochemical refining happening there, Cancer Alley. And that's important to keep in mind that two for one. Not just are the same industries that we are overusing heating our planet, which they, they have done a great job of denying the reality of that, but they're not doing a good job of denying the reality that they're also pumping our earth full of carcinogens. So I hope you found my talking points helpful. And if you did, please subscribe to my channel. Please click that notification bell. Please like, please comment, and until next time, peace be with you.